Well, it's always good to be in the top 10, and uh, I was hoping we'd move up a little higher, but it, uh, it's probably good for us. It'll keep us uh, on our toes and keep working hard, but uh, always an honor. And Andrew Hudson specifically, just kind of the way that he's come on and shown a lot of maturity, what, are you, what have you seen from him? Yeah, Andrew had, had a really good indoor season, uh, made a breakthrough, and then we uh, first time we've run him in the 200 all outdoor, and then you break the school record right off. So uh, really pleased with him, and I think he's just touching the surface. What are you expecting over the weekend, Coach? Yeah, this weekend uh, we have Florida, who's a perennial top one or two nearly every year in the country. Uh, Purdue, us, Arizona. It's a good five or six team. Uh, a lot of individual stuff. We're not as worried about our relays. We got those kind of in good shape from Texas relays. And so now we're still working on getting some good, uh, good marks. Andrew in the 100, he didn't have an opportunity there with negative winds last week. And our 400 meter people just keep uh, getting better marks been going you know several weeks in a row now without a week off uh, what's kind of the health of your team and how do you balance I guess continue pushing trying to get good marks while also kind of resting up a little trying to catch some rest for the big 12s yeah it's a great question and, and it's something that the coaches we talk about every Monday uh, it, it's a lot mental you know these kids are used to working hard and you go to a meet and if you just run one thing well then it's not so hard on you as it seems the people that are running two or three things, that's that's why we don't do 100, 200, 4 by one 4 by 4 with Andrew every week. And I think, uh, you know, you just have to be smart and, and you have to get a feel for each kid. And we'll never overwork too many people in these meets, but we're still trying to get them really good marks because those really play a part in what heat and lane you get when we go to that first round of the NCAA. Um, it's good. It's a blessing. I think it's one of the highest numbers we've been ranked before, so proud of us as a team overall be able to have a, a you're ranked fourth across the country and to have a, a lifetime best for you just kind of what it, what went into that process did anything feel different for you that day um no actually you have a good race before that so i was trying to go out there and get something done and try to put a good time down uh, and then i guess just you know as you guys head into this weekend some really top programs there what are you expecting yeah. um expecting a lot of good marks a lot of good times you know, going out there trying to compete, try to, you know, we're one of those top teams, so we got to do it, I guess, top team, top team theme, so, you know, just trying to put good marks together, good relay, good sprints, and get higher into the Big 12.